In this video, we looked at how to find the length of an arc and the area of a sector in a circle. Now, these are important concepts in the AI course found in Topic 3, Geometry and Trigonometry, under the subtopic of Trigonometry. Now, usually when you're thinking about trigonometry, you're usually thinking about triangles. However, this particular portion of this subtopic, we're actually looking at circles and not actually full circles. We're looking at parts of circles and they are called sectors. So usually when we have a full circle here, we can see in the top left, we are interested in maybe the area or maybe the circumference and the main characteristic of this circle is the radius. We're now looking at portions of circles. So you can see here, it's almost like, I think of it like the slice of a pizza. This would be a whole pizza, but inside a whole pizza, you also have slices and maybe a better word for that would be sectors of a pizza. So you can see here, this is a whole pizza here. This shaded region here would maybe be a slice of the pizza, but in mathematics, we call these a sector. Now we are looking to find the arc length, which is the outer length here of this sector, shown here in red, that's called the arc length. And then we also want to find the area of the sector, so the area of this slice of pizza. Now in the AI formula booklet, we are given formulas for both the length of an arc and the area of a, of a sector. So this is actually a pretty easy subtopic, this one, if you become comfortable with how to use these two formulas here. So let's go through both of them with an example. This question here is brought from the question bank. This is actually a sprinkler positioned at this center of the circle here. And it projects water a total distance of 3.5 meters and it swivels at an angle of 140 degrees. Now we want to find the arc length. Now the arc length is actually this outer length here. Now to do that, we can use this length of an arc formula here. So let's write it out. The length of the arc is equal to um, our angle. So our angle of our sector, which in our case is 140 degrees. So this will be 140 divided by 360 multiplied by 2 times pi times the radius of our sector. Now the radius is from the center of where the circle would be all the way to the outer edge. So in our case here, 3.5 meters. So multiplied by 3.5. And then we can use our calculator to find out what this is equal to. So here we go, we make sure our calculator is in degrees. 140 divided by 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by pi, multiplied by 3.5. So this length of an arc rounded to three significant figures, 8.55 meters. So it's equal to 8.55 meters. So pretty easy there. Uh, I do want to highlight one aspect of the length of an arc. You may recall that the total circumference of a circle, so the whole way around a circle here, the formula for that is 2 pi r or pi d. So if you think about this, it's actually the circumference of a circle just multiplied by the proportion of the circle that is the sector. So it's actually the proportion of the circle. So if our, if our sector angle was 360, it would actually be a whole circle. So it'd be 360 over 360, which would be one. So one times 2 pi r, which would be our circumference. Whereas if it's say 180 degrees, that would be 180 divided by 360, which is one on two. So it's actually a half of the circumference. So I like to think about this as the proportion of the circle that is our sector multiplied by the total circumference of a circle with a particular radius. Okay, let's now look at the area of this sector. Now we have a formula here, which is uh, uh, the angle of our sector divided by 360 multiplied by pi r squared. So pretty easy again, the area is equal to, now the angle of our sector is 140 degrees. So it'll be 140 divided by 360 multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius of our sector, which is from the center out to the outer edge, which is 3.5. And again, we can use our calculator from here to find out what that is equal to. Okay, we set up a fraction. Again, 140 multi uh, divided by 360 multiplied by pi multiplied by 3. Point, well, that should be 3.5 squared, sorry. I'll fix that up in a second. And that's 14.96, which we can just round to 15. So this should be squared here, my mistakes. And this would be 15, and this would be meters squared.
Okay, so you can see there, pretty easy. Uh, IB exam questions will be a little bit uh, trickier. Maybe it's not given to you straight away. You might have to find something else first and then find the radius or then maybe find the angle. But once you have the information, which is the angle of this sector, and then you have the radius of this sector, to find the arc length and area of the sector just simply comes down to your confidence of using these two formulas here. Okay, that's a quick overview of length of arc and area of a sector. I recommend practicing some of these questions in the question bank.